ख्याल आ चुके हो द सब्जेक्ट आई एम गोइंग टू लीज हाई वोल्टेज इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ ट्रिपली चेब्रो इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज यूनिट थ्री जनरेशन ऑफ हाई वोल्टेजेस एंड करंट्स सो इन द प्रीवियस सेक्शन वी हैव कवर्ड दैट डीसी आउटपुट टू डीसी नथिंग बट हाई हाई वोल्टेज डीस राइट so that is a half wave rectifier and full wave rectifier and voltage doubler circuits right so actually in the voltage doubler circuit uh, after that we have actually we have voltage multiplier circuits also so i am going to share share you that right actually this is the voltage doubler circuit as your desk class have uh, told that so actually we have two types here also voltage doubler circuit also we have two types so that is first one is a sentry trapped transformer and second one is a bridge rectifier right so this is simple voltage double rectifier we, we, we can get the output voltage is 2 volts right so 2v max otherwise 2v max at the output terminals right so uh, actually we say that uh, after that we have voltage multiplier circuit that is cascaded voltage doubler and the voltage multiplier circuit after that we have okay so actually cascaded voltage doubler actually we have covered in the last class only voltage doubler circuit but in this present i am going to discuss about the cascaded voltage doublers okay are used when larger output voltages are needed means previous section i i got only so 2v max only after that is uh, in the in this in this circuit in the circuit we got only 2v max right so present uh, in the old cascaded voltage double circuit nothing but this is the cascaded voltage double circuit so we have the transformers uh, here mainly we have three types of transformer this is a t1 t2 and this is a main transformer t okay right so cascade transformers voltage double doubles are used when larger output voltages are needed without changing the input transformer voltage level right so a typical voltage doubler is shown in figure just to put it which one okay okay na uh, that is a voltage doubler circuit and its input and output waveforms uh, will be shown so the rectifiers r1 r2 with transformer t1 and condenser c1 and c2 produce an output voltage of 2 volts as discussed in the previous class this is the previous class of discussion session in the 2 volts output ochu then cheptan avuna adhe next to this circuit actually uh, this circuit is duplicated and connected in series or cascade to obtain further voltage doubling to 4 volts and the meaning in it to get the high voltages means uh, so 2 into v we got the 2 into v v nothing but input voltage so 2 into v manaku output ichindi but na kinka higher output voltage dc voltage kavali ante we can connect that uh, in series okay series to connect chestunnanu we can get the 4v so uh, let us say here uh, t is an isolating transformer that is main transformer this is the t an isolating transformer isolating transformer means one is to one transformer okay one is to one transformer not step up and step down transformer right so t uh, t1 t i said that t is an isolating transformer to give the insulation for uh, 2 into v maximum since the transformer t2 is at a potential of 2 into v max above the ground okay so at this is the transform t2 so we got uh, at this point t actually 2 into v maximum okay so the voltage distribution along the rectifier strings so that is r1 r2 r3 and r4 is made uniform by having the condensers of c1 c2 c3 and c4 of equal values this is a condenser you can say that so r1 r2 r3 r4 nothing but ikkada resistance kadamma that is a rectifier that is uh, a diodes right c1 c2 c3 c4 nothing but capacitors okay so uniform uniform okay if to get the uniform uniform condensers right the arrangement can be extended to give the 6 volts 8 volts and so on repeating further stages if you using the suitable isolating transformers okay so same ikkada actually endante manaki endante up to this voltage this voltage we got uh, up to c1 up to c1 we got only v up to c1 and c2 we got 2v and c3 we got uh, 3v up to c4 we got 4 volts okay. so so 4 into v we can get the output voltage by using the cascade transformer stages this is the one stage 
and this is the second stage similar this is similar same e com same ide concept ni ikkada use chestunnanu and double jason same series lo connect chesina tante meaning using the isolation transformers okay right isolation transform use chesi ide unit ni renditini series connect chesanu you can get the value that is 4 volts okay so this is about cascade double or turn double or voltage double or right so and coming to the voltage multiplier circuits so voltage multiplier circuits right so these are the voltage multiplier circuits actually but uh, why we go for this and i'll show them oh, sorry so actually in this concept actually in this concept we are using isolating transformers right so isolating transform we should have ante manaki so cost point of view and supply requirement is very high so i the same point i here mentioned that so such of them so and sorry actually this is also a simpler uh, simpler uh, similar to the voltage double circuit only but it requires actually in voltage multiplier circuits requires so many more input supply many more input supply calls vastundi manaki again also uh, isolating transformers calls vastundi okay na so that's why it is not economical economical call so it is system will be more burden burden or burden out manaki to overcome this difficulty we go for voltage multiplier circuits and cheptunnaru okay na here the same thing he has explained also here cascaded voltage multiplier circuits for higher voltage or uh, uh, comparison and required too many supply and isolating transformers previous concept cascaded voltage multiplier ante enta iv iv cascaded doubler and uh, uh, double circuits okay na so it is possible to generate very high very very high okay it is possible to generate very high dc voltage from single supply transformers by extending the simple voltage double circuits this is simple and economical in gam packed also when the load load current requirement is less than the 1 ampere 1 milliampere not a ampere okay so that's why we go for this uh, uh, voltage multiplier circuits these are the first one is uh, a uh, cascaded rectifier unit and second one is cork of the walton uh, voltage multiplier circuit this is a very 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 important compared to this one i am going to discuss uh, uh, this one okay present i am going to discuss this one okay so this is a cork of the walton voltage multiplier circuit right Right. so cascaded cascaded voltage multiple circuits for higher voltage are just an, uh, i discuss this point okay here i am using uh, uh, here uh, this is a ac input this is the transformer okay so this is the transformer in this we have input transformer with the different stages with the different stages means uh, uh, this is the one stage okay this is the one stage okay we got the value 2v and this is the second stage uh this is the second stage and this is the uh, third stage let us say now n number of stages actually number of stages means n number of stages okay, okay stage 3 and this is the load rl nothing but load rl right so we can we can collect the voltage across the load where we can collect the across the load ante ekkada manam output tu manam gather chestam okay na so how it operates means chinna simple point how it is operate means uh, so here in this concept actually sinusoidal wave okay na man sinusoidal wave isnam kada so sinusoidal wave positive wave and so second wave second that is a negative wave right so this is a positive half cycle okay na during the positive half cycle so that is a d1 positive half cycle t1 and next to d3 okay next to d2n minus 1 are conducting or forward bias okay right so load current load current is very less amount of current that is micro amperes vastundi okay 
so coming to during negative half cycle negative half cycle during negative half cycle let us a first actually positive half cycle after that uh, we go for negative half cycle okay negative half cycle during negative half cycle so diode d2 diode d2 and diode d4 and diode d2n my sorry d2n here i mentioned d2n so these are these diodes are conducting d2 and d4 and d2n will be conduct during negative half cycle okay so the input actually you can get uh, you can give the 500 volts approximately 500 volts so the output will be generated can be approximately that is 50 kilo volts to 100 kilo volts 100 kilo volts right dc output dc output right so this is i mentioned here voltage multiplier circuit using cork of the walter mark shown in figure so the first stage is nothing but the first stage means so during pause to half cycle okay okay so during pause to half cycle d1 d2 c1 c2 right so d1 d2 i mentioned d1 d2 this is c1 c2 right so first unit are not the next to the stages and you know this is the one stage this is second stage this is third stage in japan so even on the transform t are identical as the double voltage double circuit in japan okay for the getting higher voltage 4 6 and so on to n of the input voltage v the circuit is repeated with cascade or series connection like that you can get the value okay na e value in the first of all monkey you can get the 2 v max kada next you get 4 v max next you get into 2 into let us say 2 into n v max 2 into n v max mata okay na so after it 2 into 2 and 2 c 2 n cover you can c 2 on another 2 v max c4 on this 4 v max you can do c 2 n and this 2 n into v max you can get the value c 2 n into v max and mata so but the volt across any individual contender sir our rectifier is only 2v max and individual unit and i mentioned that individual unit come on only individual unit you reach my own content in the man again we can get the 2 vex 2v max previous classroom and chip and already okay now single circuit is contained in general because i checked in my last class i'll get an operation on the we got the my d class okay right and coming to cork of plane and the monkey some uh uh, that is a parameters performance parameters we are going to discuss here performance that is a performance parameters let take it a note and i will discuss here only let the performance uh, performance uh, parameters okay uh, please note all these things okay no? i have not here right here performance parameters ante manaki em osti ante ikkada so first one is sorry performance parameters so first one is uh, let us say before going to that uh, some values v naught what is meant by v naught so the v naught is nothing but the output voltage right v naught nothing but the output voltage right so not down okay so from this uh, uh, the output no voltage v will becomes that is 2 into n v max 2 into n into v max okay na? right 2 into n into v max right so where n is nothing but in n and n n is nothing but a number of stages number of stages number of stages each stage you can get the value of uh, uh, two v max amount okay na? number of stages right so v max nothing but v max so v max nothing but v max is equal to maximum value of the out input voltage okay maximum value of uh, output you can get but that is nothing but input amount maximum value of input voltage okay right and coming to the second value this is the, let us say this is one and this is second second performance performance parameters in the ripple voltage ripple voltage so ripple voltage second one is a ripple voltage ripple voltage is nothing but delta v
సో వాట్ ఇస్ మెన్ బై యాక్చువల్ ట్రిపుల్ ట్రిపుల్ అంటే ఏంటి డెఫినేషన్ యాక్చువల్గా ఇట్ మీన్స్ ద ప్రెజెన్స్ ఆఫ్ ఏసీ ఓల్టేజ్ ఇన్ డీసీ అవుతుంది అంటే యాక్చువల్గా నేను నా క్లాస్ చెప్పాను మీకు ఆల్రెడీ యాక్చువల్గా ఫుల్ వేవ్ రెక్టిఫైర్ సరే ఏసీ వేవ్ ఫామ్ ఇచ్చాను సో హాఫ్ వేవ్ అంటేనేమో ఇలా వచ్చింది మనకి ఫుల్ వేవ్ అంటేనేమో రైట్ సో ఇలా వచ్చేసింది బట్ ఈస్ దిస్ యూ కన్సిడర్ దట్ ఇట్ డీసీ డీసీ అనుకుంటామా నో సో దిస్ ఈస్ కన్సిడర్ యాజ్ ఏ డీసీనే బట్ ఏంటంటే డీసీలో లేదు అంటే సో నథింగ్ బట్ సమ్ రిపుల్ రిపుల్ ఓల్టేజ్ ఎగ్జిస్ట్ అయింది మీనింగ్ అంటే ఇట్ మీన్స్ దట్ ద ప్రెజెన్స్ ఆఫ్ ఏసీ ఓల్టేజ్ ఇన్ ద డీసీ అవుట్పుట్ ఓకేనా సో ద ఫార్ములా ఫర్ దిస్ యాక్చువల్లీ డెల్టా వి ఈస్ ఈక్వల్ యూ నీడ్ టు రిమెంబర్ దిస్ ఫార్ములాస్ ఓకే స్టాండర్డ్ ఫార్ములాస్ దట్ ఈస్ ఎన్ ఇన్ టు ఐ వన్ బై ఎన్ ఇన్ టు ఐ వన్ బై ఎఫ్సి ఎన్ ఇన్ టు ఐ వన్ బై ఎఫ్సి సారీ ఎన్ ఇన్ టు ఐ వన్ బై ఎఫ్సి వేర్ ఎన్ ఈస్ నథింగ్ బట్ ఐ సే దట్ నంబర్ ఆఫ్ స్టేజెస్ ఐ వన్ ఈస్ నథింగ్ బట్ ఏ లోడ్ కరెంట్ ఐ వన్ ఈస్ నథింగ్ బట్ ఏ హియర్ ఐ మెన్షన్ దట్ లోడ్ కరెంట్ మీన్స్ ద కరెంట్ పాస్ త్రూ ద దిస్ వే దిస్ ఈస్ ద లోడ్ కరెంట్ ఐ వన్ ఓకే సో ఐ వన్ నెక్స్ట్ వే ఎఫ్ నథింగ్ బట్ ఏ సప్లై ఫ్రీక్వెన్సీ వేర్ కే సి నథింగ్ బట్ ఏ కెపాసిటర్ ఓకే వెల్ ఆఫ్ ద కెపాసిటర్ రైట్ సో దిస్ ఈస్ అబౌట్ రిపుల్ ఓల్టేజ్ రిపుల్ ఓల్టేజ్ సో వన్ ఆఫ్ ద పారామీటర్ రైట్ సో ఐమ్ కమింగ్ టు నెక్స్ట్ వన్ సో టోటల్ రిపుల్ ఓల్టేజ్ టోటల్ రిపుల్ ఓల్టేజ్ సిమిలర్లీ సేమ్ పాయింటే కాకపోతే ఏంటంటే ఎన్ నెంబర్ ఆఫ్ స్టేజ్ ఉన్నప్పుడు ఏంటంటే ఏమవుతుంది చూద్దాం టోటల్ రిపుల్ ఓల్టేజ్ సో టోటల్ నథింగ్ బట్ డెల్టా వి సో లెట్ సార్ చూద్దాం ఎక్కడ రాస్తాను టోటల్ రిపుల్ ఓల్టేజ్ టోటల్ రిపుల్ ఓల్టేజ్ సారీ జస్ట్ మినిట్ టోటల్ రిపుల్ ఓల్టేజ్ సో టోటల్ రిపుల్ ఓల్టేజ్ కెన్ బి ఎగ్జిస్ట్ దట్ ఈస్ డెల్టా వి టోటల్ రైట్ డెల్టా వి టోటల్ రైట్ సో టోటల్ so delta v total is nothing but a delta v total so please uh, uh, please understand okay the, what is what the values are so i mentioned clear here that is uh, delta v delta v total is equal to so just i mentioned that is uh, uh, for a uh, Uh, delta v nothing but n into i by fc right so here i mentioned that is i by fc i by i by fc so if the stages number of stages connected in series means actually 1 plus 2 uh, plus uh, and so on plus actually uh, n right so for this we can written as n into n plus 1 n into n plus 1 right n into n plus 1 in by that is fc nothing but n into n plus 1 into i by fc we can write it as n into n by i fc i by fc right so i nothing but i1 let us say i1 let us say the load current right so this is about uh, uh, number of stages total total ripple voltage right so like this we can say that so percentage ripple if you consider that is a percentage ripple so let us say this is a fourth fourth one is a percentage ripple what is the formula for percentage ripple percentage ripple is nothing but these are all very very important formulas for problems okay uh, percentage ripple is equal to ripple voltage divided by ripple voltage okay now note down the formula ripple voltage so ripple voltage divided by the so ripple voltage divided by the so total voltage total voltage ripple voltage is nothing but just i has mentioned that is that is delta v so delta v divided by total voltage nothing but 2 into n max 2 into n into v max adhe ga manaku vachedi so 2n kabatti 2 into n into v max this is uh, into 100 is anukonde percentage vachestu manaki okay na so delta v by 2 into n into v max that is ripple voltage by total voltage okay and coming to uh, that is a uh, very important next one is voltage regulation okay voltage regulation and fifth one is a voltage regulation
right voltage regulation nothing but the definition of voltage regulation that is percentage voltage regulation is equal to percentage voltage regulation is equal to so voltage drop the definition is voltage voltage drop so voltage drop divided by the and the ratio of voltage drop to the voltage drop to the total voltage okay now total voltage total voltage total voltage into 100 right so to voltage drop divided by the total voltage into 100 right so voltage drop nothing but delta v total voltage, voltage drop nothing but delta v divided by total voltage and just to, i mentioned that 2 into n into v max into 100 right so delta v nothing but a voltage drop or delta v can be defined actually a small derivation is there so i will discuss in the latter you know delta v nothing but the formula for delta v is nothing but i by fc i mentioned that already that is i n i n into i by fc right so but delta v nothing but i by fc into just remember this formula uh, 2 by 3 2 by 3 into n square sorry n cube right n cube plus So n square by two, n square by two minus n by six. This is the very very standard formula, but we can derive this formula by. Uh, I will discuss in the later. So delta V is nothing but so I by F C where I nothing but a load current, F nothing but a frequency supply frequency, C nothing but a capacitor, N nothing but a number of stages. Okay, so this is the delta V nothing but a voltage drop. Okay, voltage drop. Right, this is very very important. And then last one is uh, sixth uh, sixth parameter. So last one, this is very very important. So optimal number of stages. So that is optimal. So optimal optimal number of stages. so optimal number of stages nothing but we can uh, we can define as this is a optimal number of stages that is okay like this okay so which can be uh, this is the standard formula he mentioned that this is the standard formula that is v max square root of v max into fc divided by v max into fc divided by i okay v max into F C divided by I, right? So where I nothing but a, I mentioned that we I nothing but a load current, F nothing but a supply frequency, C nothing but a capacitor, right? V max nothing but a maximum voltage obtained at the uh, single stage, okay? So not single stage, single capacitor. I can say that single capacitor, right? So these are the performance parameters of Korcoff, uh, uh, okay? Korcoff no? voltage multiplier. right uh, this is about korcoff uh, to right coming to next one is uh, uh, very important van de graaff generators okay van de graaff generators so i will discuss in this class okay very very important this is uh, so van de graaff generators nothing but uh, this is the van de graaff generator okay so oh, it is one of the a uh, very important type and which is nothing but like electrostatic generator it is a, one of the electrostatic generator only okay it is actually known as another name for this one is actually particle accelerator okay na particle accelerator it is also uh, it is possible to generate uh, that is actually we can say that uh, by using this one we can generate that is 5 mega volts 5 mega volts dc 5 mega volts dc We can generate uh, five megavolts DC output five by using the Van de Graaff generators. Okay. So actually, mainly we have two principles before going to discuss about operation. Uh, so I am going to discuss the uh, principle of operations. Actually, the principle of operations are mainly we have two. Uh, that is, the uh, first one is discharge takes place at sharp edges or corners. 
ఓకేనా దీస్ ఆర్ ద షార్ట్ పెర్జెస్ ఆర్ కార్నర్స్ అనుకుంటే దట్ షీ డిశ్చార్జ్ విల్ బి టేక్స్ ప్లేస్ అట్ షార్ట్ పర్జెస్ ఆర్ కార్నర్స్ అనమాట ఫస్ట్ ఆపరేషన్ అండ్ సెకండ్ వన్ ఏంటంటే so when the charged conductors actually charged conductors nothing but electrode these are actually two electrodes unte manaki so first electrode hv electrode and the low voltage electrode unte high voltage electrode low voltage electrode two unde manaki okay na so the high voltage electrode to uh, low voltage electrodes okay na the discharge takes place when the charged conductor we know what the charges conductors anamata the charge when the charged conductor is brought inside the halo conductor then the charges distribute outside the halo conductor and inside of the halo conductor so manam tisko ragalite when we can get the outside outside we can distribute that okay na? so that is the second principle okay right coming to the operation we go for operation so ikkada just mamulu note chesadu but operation chudama jaltaga by using the diagram this is the van der graaf diagram so is main ga manaki ikkada eight first one endante one that is a lower spray point this is the lower spray point okay so this is the motor driven pulley okay motor driven pulley that is a lower side lower side anta okay na so this is insulation takes place insulation nothing but belt connect chestundi belt mundu fourth this is nothing but a round jack chesam kada this is nothing but a high voltage uh, 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 that is nothing but a high voltage electrode ancha cheptundi simple ga cheppalante high voltage electrode so nothing but this is the collector the collector okay na this is the collector so upper pulley is insulating medium that is this is nothing but a upper pulley that is six this is okay na idi okay pulley okay and next upper spray point seventh one is upper spray point eighth one is mottham close chesan chusara idini deni antam ante eighth antam that is earth enclosure okay na so actually main ga it consist of a uh two electrodes first one is the hv electrode this is the hv electrode okay na and second one is uh, this is considered as a uh, uh, that is low voltage electrode okay so high voltage electrode em antam ante high voltage electrode acts as a halo conductor halo conductor okay low voltage electrode as a charged conductor okay so charged conductors means ipudu cheppanu kada when charged conductor is brought inside the halo conductor then the charges distributed outside the halo conductor not outside the halo conductor will be takes place so moreover the structure of uh, charge conductors cheppanu kada low voltage low voltage then em antam ante low voltage electrodes ni so the structure of uh, charge conductors uh, that is mainly have two sex, uh, two segments untai so for this first segment is uh, metal pulley sandam that is uh, first segment is ante metal pulley and second one ante silk bells and second one is silk bells okay na See? right so actually it provides a dc supply let us say that it is provides a dc supply okay and dc supply is done let us say this is dc supply given to this okay na eighth dc i can note chestan okay dc supply no is done okay na so when the dc supply is given that is given to the lower spray point lower spray point endante so, so supply is done okay na so this pulley are provided with the help of the motor this is the motor okay na motor driven pulley ani cheppanu okay na motor driven pulley so which is actually run about 1000 to 2000 rpm right whenever you apply the dc source whenever you apply the dc source okay whenever you apply the dc source so electric field will be formed the electric field will be generated as you know that this pulley will operate will operate with the help of the motor id endante operate with the help of a motor man kallu motor rotate chestunte it will be continuously rotate right so continuously it will be uh, operate up and down right ila idukondi generation up and down ila rotate out out undi idukondi ee pulley upper and this is this is lower spray point this is upper spray point continuously it will be rotate with the help of a motor right so so one of the upper that is uh, uh, what will happen so the charges will be distributed right ila rotate avutunna appude em aitundante the charges will be distributed, distributed to the outside of the uh, halo conductor nenu cheppan kada manaki endante inside that is lower spray point lo man charge sakkar aithe so the outer side of the halo conductor will be distributed avali so that is the point ikkada okay so when it is rotated uh, with the help of a motor 
the charges will be distributed along the halo conductor outside of the halo conductor so which will be the operation will be till operation will be continuously done okay na so that charges will distributed inside okay na? and then which is distributed to the outside of the halo conductor right so there is a huge number of potential difference between the uh, that is a, a positive and negative nothing but a halo conductor that is halo conductor and the charge conductors and that high volt high voltage electrode ki low voltage electrode ki huge difference undi so that means that it can generate over a high voltage dc generate chestunnam cheptunnadu simple way apparently so potential difference undante enta meaning maniki high voltage generate chestunnattu antena kada right so just simply he can say that uh, Uh, a small difference that is uh, how much of uh, uh, change in voltage will be exist and the potential between the two electrodes high voltage electrode low voltage electrode and then he mentioned that here so dv by dt that is but dv by dt d is nothing but 1 by c into d2 by dt and that so ela vastadi maniki actually ga dv by dt and actually ga manaki already formula telusu oka chinna formula note chestam that is q is equal to nama formula c into v that's what meku so from this we can say that actually dv by dt formula allow us the and so dv by dt is equal to i by c raval naku allow us and q is equal to cv so on this v is equal to us go to q by c right so actually charge q is equal to us go to which can be written as i into t not just go to let under i is equal to q by t i is equal to q by t right so from this q is equal to i into t by c So substitute this value d by dt of d by dt of i2 by i t by c that is i t by c. So the value constant will be uh, by this question that is i by c. So i by c into d t by d t. Okay, na d t by d t. So then cancel it. But only we got uh, that is d v by d t is equal to. dv by dt you can get dv by dt is equal to i by c okay na so this is the very 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 important formula for this okay na that is i is nothing but a net charging current okay right so actually some applications are there for this also actually so the applications are it is mainly used for the nuclear physics nuclear physics ante a research purpose lo manam use chestaru this is endukante particular generator particle generator actually okay na సో యాక్సెలరేటర్ అని కూడా చెప్పచ్చు మనం సో ఇట్ న్యూక్లియర్ ఫిజిక్స్ లో చేస్తారు అండ్ దెన్ ఆల్సో ఇట్ ఈస్ యూజ్డ్ ఫర్ యూజ్ మెయిన్లీ యూజ్ ఫర్ దట్ ఈస్ డ్రైవింగ్ ఎక్స్రే ట్యూబ్స్ డ్రైవింగ్ ఎక్స్రే ట్యూబ్స్ ఎక్స్రే లో కూడా మనం ఏంటంటే యూజ్ చేస్తూ ఉంటాం ఓకే నెక్స్ట్ ఇంకా ఫుడ్ ప్రాసెసింగ్ యూనిట్స్ లో ఉంటాయి ఫుడ్ అండ్ ప్రాసెసింగ్ యూనిట్స్ లో కూడా మనం యూజ్ చేస్తాం వీటిని ఓకేనా రైట్ సో దీస్ ఆర్ సమ్ అప్లికేషన్స్ ఆల్సో ఫర్ దిస్ వ్యాండోగ్రాఫ్ జనరేట్ సింపుల్ అమ్మా ఈ పాయింట్ ఏం లేదు So previous section we have done this. This is the Van der Graaff generator. It is about two. This one I have just prepared. Ten to five hundred kilovolts. Nothing but so mega. Uh, actually, previous section, previous approach, but it is done. So fifty megavolts. Good. Generate charge. Man. Okay. Na? So this is a two. Mainly we have two electrodes of positive, and this is a, uh, that is a high voltage, high voltage electrode, and this is low voltage electrode. Okay. So this low voltage electrode. So two electrodes are there, and the DC supply is applied to the lower spray point okay na uh, so which will be which will be driven by the motor which will be driven by the motor motor to rotate out on to the maniki so it, which is continuously rotated and we actually so when the dc supply is uh, uh, applied electric field will be formed okay na so electric field form in upon maniki entama e positive that is uh, the charges the charges will be continuously this uh, actually pull in and continue to rotate out on the belt how na rotate up em avutundi the charges also distributed along the along with this pulley avuna kada so along this belt belt will endante charges kuda distribute avuta unde which will be distributed out about that is high voltage electrodes high voltage electrode side kuda manike endante distribute avuthe so outside of the uh, that is uh, outside of the halo conductors which will be um, there exist in a high uh, potential difference between the positive electrode that is the high voltage electrode and low voltage electrode okay so that's uh, uh, that's exhibits the high dc voltage anamata manaki iu dc voltage output ostundi manaki simple points adi man cheppare okay na right so that's our uh, uh, finish our uh, so voltage doubler circuit and quark of the voltage multiplier circuit this is the very very important okay na so a point so note cheskonama nenu cheptanu
ഓക്കെ ഓക്കെ താങ്ക് യു വിൽ കണ്ടിന്യൂ നെക്സ്റ്റ് ക്ലാസ് ഓക്കെ